Hi everyone, how are we doing today? Okay, so I'm inspired. Uh, I saw the movie, you know by the title, and a really good friend of mine on the YouTube uh, platform has asked me to recreate a Joker makeup look, so I had to do it. I've been stuck in a rut, and I know you guys don't wanna hear this, but very, very quick update is that um, I really, really, really wanted to do a lot of looks for October, but then, you know, I could have pre-filmed early, but then didn't do it. And at the last minute, I realized it was too late. So I'm really sorry about not doing as many um, Halloween looks as I could. Uh, if you guys want, I mean, next year I could always do it, or I could always do it after Halloween, because, you know, I, I always need an excuse to dress up. But anyway, Let's get into it. I'm gonna turn myself into the Joker, and if you'd like to see it, then keep on watching. All right, so um, I have never done the Joker before. I've always wanted to be the Joker. I love all of, all of the Batman movies that have a Joker in them, let me tell you. Like, I love them all. The only one person that I can't really vouch for is Jared Leto. Like, what was with that snorting thing, like what? Like you sound like a weird snake. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to basically paint my entire face white and I have already primed my face with some dollar store face primer. I've already tried to do this three times. That's the reason why my eyes are a little bit white. <laughs> So um, I'm gonna fast forward through this because this is like not fun to watch. If you guys wanna know how to apply white face paint, um, someone who will be able to teach you much better than I will is Lex from Age You Look. I will link her up uh, below. But um, I should be done like that. Okay, so um, my face is pretty much white. I went through with just, this is one coat. Um, you can tell my face is white. You can tell it's different from my skin tone. So I'm gonna keep it like this, especially because I feel like if I do one more layer of white face paint that it will start to get streaky. So no one wants streaky white face paint. Thank you, Lex, by the way, for teaching me how to do my face paint. Holy crap. Um, and right now I'm gonna add some like white eyeshadow just to hopefully make it a little bit more stark white because his face is really white, just like a con. Take glucose. Glucose, not glue close. Not Glen close. Okay, so my face is finally really, really white. And now he has some really small red eyebrows like on the top of his forehead because you know they are exaggerated because he is a clown but right now i'm going to draw in the blue where his um triangles start just so i have like somewhere to start and i am going in with huntington beach from jeffree star in the movie he wears like a green shirt and i noticed that his triangles are a little bit more bluish green like they're a little off which I like, I like how like they didn't match up the colors perfectly because I mean like a guy that lives with his mom that's not exactly a happy guy isn't exactly gonna have like matching colors. So it, like, I feel like they thought about it, I liked it. <laughs> I have teal brows again. Okay, so next is his iconic little eyebrow. So I'm going to take Red Rum from Jeffree Star's little mini liquid velour lipsticks. And I'm gonna draw on those too. Got a little attitude. Well, I mean, definitely has a little attitude in the film. Just, just a little bit aggressive. A little bit of aggressive behavior. Oh my god, they're so cute! They're like so 
so imperfect and I love them. So cool because when you do something like this, since he is kind of messed up, like it does not have to be perfect. Like look at these eyebrows close up. Like they look absolutely like a train wreck, but then that's how they're supposed to look. Okay, so next I'm gonna start drawing on his lips because <clears throat> that's gonna take a while. No, I'm just kidding. It's just gonna take a little bit of like overdrawing, <laughs> a little bit of overdrawing. So wish me luck. I literally feel like the Joker from 1989. Like, like it's like so big, but like it's really cool, man. Okay, what else? He has some uh, triangles underneath his eyes. So let's do that. Okay, you guys, so for this, I just drew a very normal triangle, and then I tried to um, thin it out as much as possible. If you guys want to get closer to your eye, you can. Um, just for this, I didn't get really that close to my eye just because my eyes are super sensitive, and they always, always, always water. So, to each their own. Oh, look at those. It looks like they're teardrops. Oh, my goodness. That looks so cool. I literally just dragged down my brush two times. I don't know if you guys saw that, but hopefully I can include it in the clip because that was amazing. Seriously, you guys, if I could like tell you guys my favorite kind of art, it probably would have to be this because I, I'm i not very precise. I'm only precise when it comes to like details, but like when it comes to like body painting or painting at all, like that's where I'm flawed. Like. I feel like messy looks is where I thrive because I mean, it comes out looking like this and then it comes out actually looking okay. <laughs> All right, is that it? No, that is not it. He has a red nose. So he has like the edge, his nose painted and then the little flaps on the side. So just in case he doesn't have his little red Hunker, he has this instead. Did I really just rhyme? Oh my God, help me. Or does he have it? Okay, you guys, so now I'm going to put on some really cute Joker outfit and show you the finished look. Oh, I almost forgot his hair. So I could have very well bought green um, hairspray yesterday at Walmart when I was looking around, but I'm too lazy for that and I'm too broke for that. So if any of you out there n need any type of like hair product or something like that, I usually use body paint because I mean, it is water activated. It does come out with shampoo. Like as long as you don't have anywhere to go like that next day or something like that, you should be fine. I mean, it's probably just as bad as having like, you know, teal on my eyebrows, you know, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna get my hair done, and I'm gonna get that open on, and then I'm gonna give you guys the finished look. <laughs> People are staring. I would be too. <laughs> 